In this video, we'll cover authority setting. Authority setting basically determines what the users of the web URL can uh, view. So the first thing is that you can set up a role. And once you set a role, multiple users can belong to that role. You can have up to 100 roles and you can have up to 1,000 users. So the first role I'm going to add, I'm going to name it admin. And I'm going to say that the admin basically has all rights and abilities. I'm going to set up a few more roles as well. I'll call one technician. And my technicians should be able to see everything. And I'd like for them to also have access to the servo viewer linkage. And when it comes to file transfer, only the ability to read files from the CNC back to a network folder, not from the network to the CNC. And they really won't need to know production reports, so I'll disable that feature. Now let's add one more role, and this will be production. Now, production, they will have the ability to see all the history and the reports. And yes, they can read and write files to the machines. Now let's add some users. The first user I'm going to add is just going to be my default admin user. Enable the password, and my password is going to be the same as the username. Capital A D M I N. I'm going to add another one, and this is going to be for a technician, and our technician is Johnny. And Johnny, to log in, he'll need a password, and I'll say that his uh, password is also the same. It's going to be Johnny1. And I'll put in Johnny's email address. That's Johnny at spacelysprockets.com. Now the calendar period, this has to do with looking at the different screens. There's a start and stop calendar date and time. And most of the time for operational results, we'll just be looking at in the past one day. However, for alarm data, well, let's go to the maximum. We want seven days and signal history will go back seven days. Now reports are not, he's not going to have the ability to see reports so this doesn't matter. And I'll say OK. I'll say OK once again and we'll send this to the database. Now we've sent it. We'll close that. I'll log out. And now I'm going to sign in as Johnny.
Let's see the alarm history. This is looking at a seven day period. Now this is a moving seven day window, but this is the maximum it will display at one time. And let's take a look at our file utility. From our file utility, we can see that he can upload files from the CNC to a folder on the server PC. Uh, the files from the machine that he can upload are the CNC parameters, work offsets, macro variables, our operation history data, pitch error comp, and our tool offsets. Uh, we can also upload our part programs. And that basically covers the authority setting and roles.